My name is Mark T. I'm an associate member in the drug discovery department. My laboratory focuses on developing new technologies to design and characterize protein protein enhancing inhibitors, design and synthesizing potent and selective protein protein enhancing inhibitors, and developing new protein protein enhancing inhibitors into target therapy uh, for a cancer treatment. So today I wish to um, discuss our small molecule inhibitors for an upcoming important target called the beta-catenin B-cell lymphoma, also called a B-cell 9 protein, protein enhancing inhibitor, this target. So our interest in design of beta catenin BCL9 inhibitors was ignited by this seminar paper from Dr. Thomas Gachewski and co-workers at the University of Chicago. In this study, uh, they noticed in the absence of beta catenin signaling, chemokines can be expressed to recruit uh, dendritic cells for T cell uh, infiltration, which destroys uh, cancer cells and uh, like eliminate a tumor. In the presence of beta catenin signaling, a certain chemokines will not be expressed, and the dendritic cells cannot be recruited, which prevent T cell activation and recruitment, and result in cancer immune uh, evasion. So uh, this panel uh, showing here on the left side, uh, this is, shows the metastatic process of uh, cancer, um, cancer cells. Um, the cancer cells can dissociate from this primary site and co op a host cell to create a permissive microenvironment such as angiogenesis and to develop defective blood vessel cancer cell then enter the blood vessel. This process is called introversation. After, transporta after transportation, cancer cell can enter the stroma of target organ. This process is called extraversation. In the stage of target organ colonization, cancer cells undergoes initial survival, dormancy, and outgrowth. At this primary site, beta catenin signaling is activated at the uh, invasion front of the tumor. And also later, uh, beta catenin uh, later signaling is important for epithelia, uh, for cancer cell epithelia to mesenchymal transition, which is important for this uh, transportation, initial survival, a uh, dormancy at uh, this process. As shown on the right panel here, apparent beta catenin signaling came from the metabolic reprogramming and a functional reprogramming, which play key roles in the maintenance of stem cell like cancer cells, or you can call cancer stem cell, or play key role in immune evasion and also play key role in epithelia to mesenchymal transition. So therefore, oncogenic beta catenin plays a key role in the metastatic uh, latency. As pointed out by Dr. Robert Weinberg at MIT, beta catenin hyperactivation is a key cancer hallmark, particularly for this motility circuit, as shown here, this is a beta catenin. While beta catenin is extremely important Targeting beta catenin has been has proven to be um, highly challenging. Murphy Cancer Center has discovered the Achilles heel of beta catenin targeting, which is targeting beta catenin to disrupt the beta catenin BCL9 protein protein inhibitions, as uh, shown here. So G Laboratory, uh, uh, follow this research direction. G Laboratory. Uh, took a lead and uh, discovered the first drug-like beta catenin inhibitors, uh, which is called ZW4864. This compound bonds to beta catenin 
and it disrupt the beta-catenin BCL9 interaction and promote a selective degradation of nuclear beta-catenin. This compound has ex like the exceptional like the, uh, pharmacokinetic properties with oral bioavailability of 83%. This success uh, allowed the assembly of a Moffitt research uh, team to, uh, to further uh, pinpoint the rule of beta-catenin in the uh, metastatic processing uh, of cancer cells and pave the path for drug development. The team, including the chair of drug discovery department, uh, Dr. Derek Duckett, and later uh, me uh, and my laboratory. For further, like, to learn more about this invasion, please contact Murphy Cancer Center, the Office of Innovation and the Industry Alliance. Here shows the phone number, and here is the email address. Thank you. I hope you all have a great day.